Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and welcome back to my the YouTube channel. The tutorial is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can enable the temper protection in on our the end user device via the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So let's see the content which is I'm um, going to cover up in this video. That is uh, what is the temper protection. So we'll try to understand what is the temper protection prevented with the temper protection. So what uh, the temper protection can be prevented uh, on the end user device. Then we'll create and uh, apply the policy on the test machine. So first we'll create the temper protection policy and then we'll deploy to the test machine. And then finally we'll validate the temper protection validation. So now the temper protection. So temper protection will help you to protect to disable the security feature such as a antivirus protection during the cyber attack. So usually what the cyber attack do they will attack they will send the virus or they will attack on your system and first they will uh, try to uh, disable your the security features on your device. So cyber attack, uh, attackers like to disable the security feature to get easier access to your data install malware or exploit your the data on the device so temper protection uh, initially lock the micro, uh, microsoft windows defender to it secure default values and the prevent your the security setting from being changed through the app or the other ways so usually what it will do uh, our the temper protection will protect you if some attackers has uh, or the cyber attackers attack on your machine and they are trying to um, disable the any of the security features in on the device so this temper protection block that feature and temper protection will protect you to disable the antivirus protection so let's go to the next what the prevent uh, prevent with the temper protection so disabling antivirus and the threat so uh, our the temper protection will uh, will protect our disabling the antivirus and threat protection it will protect with the disabling real time protection and turning off the behavior monitoring uh, on disabling the antivirus protection such as a i office antivirus that is called ioav disabling the cloud delivery protection removing security intelligence so these are the features which is protected by the temper protection so now here is the validation when we implemented our the temper protection how we'll make sure that uh, temper protection is enabled on the end user machine so this is the command line you can use it and uh, it will shows you the is temper protected true and the real uh, real time protection is true so now let me go to the lab here uh, in this machine so now i am inside this mem console and uh, like the endpoint security let's go to the antivirus and here is the option to create a policy so here let's go to select the windows 10 11 and the servers and now here we go for the windows security experience now let's create now i'm creating with the uh, with the same name or uh, like can give in the temper protection t a m p r temper p r o t c t a temper protection and let me go to the next so here is the configuration setting like uh, the defender temper protection device so here is giving the about this detail so temper protection help you to protect uh, the important security feature from the unwanted change and the interface that include the real time protection behavior monitoring and the other things so let us enable this feature and these are the other uh, security center feature windows defender security center feature disable the account protection ui so if you want to uh, enable the user can see the display the account protection in the defender security center so if you want to disable you can disable it disable the app browser ui so this is i'm not going to enable uh, disable it account protection app browser 
so the user can see the display of the app browser area in the windows defender center so disable disable the clean up tpm button clear tpm button so let it uh, disabled and disable the ui security no disable the disable the ui family enable so these all are things are there so uh, based on the, our company required we can configure them so disable the in uh, the enhancement uh, set network setting and tpm firmware update warning so based on your the company requirement you can select these options and finally when we are done uh, then uh, we can just create the policy now we are under the scope tag and let us go with the assignment and here we can select the groups so here i have created one group that is called like a temper protection and now finally we did this so under the defender we have temper protection on and the under windows defenders uh, security center also we have modified something so let us go to the next and now our policy has implemented to our the test devices now finally when we done it we can go here and uh, go to here and just update the policy to test your policy go to the accounts and now run this so finally once this policy is updated then we can go to the powershell command and then we can validate that that is working or not so let us wait for the power policy sync so now the policy sync has done and let me open the powershell i type it this command so let me go to okay let me copy it from my local machine anyway we can try with that also but here we'll get the some more clear picture so here if you seen is the is the temper protection protected the real time protection enable is a true so here is the our temper protection is enabled so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my the next video